So this is a little bit of a challenge, but it kind of will lead you into some of the things we'll do in future lessons. We're going to be able to change an, a bottle of olive oil into water. And so I can kind of show you how you make dramatic changes in color to something. And I've had the client request this where they had a beautiful glass of white wine, but they want the client wanted red wine, but they love the photo. So I literally had to take a white wine glass and change it into red wine for the client and it worked. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and select, let's go ahead and find our, there's our layer and do this wine layer. Okay, so we have that. We are going to go ahead and edit this. A lot of times if I'm going to do permanent changes, I'm going to just duplicate this layer. I'm going to do white wine and I'm going to just toggle my uh, visibility off. So I just keep that just, just in case I don't like the red wine or if I can want to switch between white wine and red wine, I could just toggle that layer on and off. So this will be our red wine layer. Okay, so here's our wet red wine layer. So let's go ahead and make some adjustments. Um, so there's a couple things we can do. So I'm going to go up to adjustments and we're going to play around with a few of these. I'm going to go to hue and saturation just to kind of see if I can't get a tinge of that red and then add some more saturation to it. So I'm just going to move my hue to see if I can't find a nice red color. So that's going to kind of be my red. It looks a little pink, but that's no problem. We'll be able to change that. So I've added some saturation, maybe not quite as much, and then I'm going to reduce the lightness a little bit and click OK. So that's kind of a dull red wine. We really want to add some richness to it. So we can go up to Exposure. This is just experimenting with all your adjustment options. And we're going to kind of reduce a few of these things here. So I'm just reducing the offset. and increasing the gamma. So see how subtle these changes are and what a dramatic effect it has on the wine glass. So once you uh, kind of apply an adjustment, I like to continue to apply adjustment after adjustment until I'm happy with how it looks. Um, so we can go to vibrance. That's another way to bring out richness in a particular um, layer. So adding saturation seems to really help bring that red out. And another thing we can do is we can go back with the dodge and burn tool and add more shadows here. So um, I still have that layer selected. I'm going to get the burn tool. I'm just adding, let me go ahead and zoom in, kind of adding a little bit of more shadows to give a more dramatic punch. I'm going to switch between highlights to, to then shadows, just giving it a punch. Also going to do the same thing with the, the dodge tool. So the dodge is going to add highlights. It's going to bring out highlights just like this. So it looks like the sun, where's the sun coming from? It's right here. So the sun is probably going to hit right about there. And that's too dramatic. So all you have to do is bring down your percentage of exposure, maybe cut it in half. So it's not as strong. So just click once, maybe click again, just adding a little bit of a dramatic punch to our red wine. So there we are. There's a red wine glass. Um, I don't think red wine would show as much transparency in the background as a white wine would because it has a little bit more, I guess, di not dye, but has a little bit more of a, of a color that doesn't show through transparency. So I'm going to increase my opacity a little bit on my red wine glass. So you just see a little bit in the background. And the only, only other thing I see is uh, we still have some yellow wine left over from this other top of the glass. So I'm just going to go and kind of desaturate that just a tad. I can go to hue and saturation and just go down and reduce saturation until I'm happy. And that kind of takes that yellow out of there. Okay, so now we have a red wine glass. I can also lock that layer. That layer is already locked. I'm going to duplicate this and have our little white, white wine glass next to it. To toggle my red wine off and toggle my white wine off. So there you have it. You have a, a white wine glass and you have a red wine glass. And you might I might need to change the opacity on that when you move it over a little bit more. You can even have them overlaying each other if you'd like. Just like that. So there you go. It looks like it belongs in the environment a little bit more. If I had another hour or so, I'd probably really work on that stem and try to Get the highlights on that matching a little bit better but i'm happy with the top um, definitely something i've had to do in real client work just a very quick project um, uh, we're going to move on to something a little bit more fun we're going to turn 
a glass of olive oil or a bottle of olive oil into um, something incredible, some really cool cl crystal clear water with a beautiful fish in it. So we're gonna do that project next and we're gonna kind of go a little bit faster with each project.